Mason Marion is a 20-year-old sophomore at Penn State Barron. He currently has a 3.4 GPA while majoring in interdisciplinary business with engineering studies and in finance. A three-sport star in high school in golf, basketball, and tennis, a 1,000-point score in basketball, two section tennis singles titles, letter winner in all three sports, is on a quest to successfully make the transition from high school tennis to college tennis. I started playing tennis at the age of six. My uh, grandfather was always playing tennis and I was always curious so he would he would take me down to his racket club and that's where I started playing. I'd say about the age of eight is whenever I started to get uh, I was able to hit the ball normal <clears throat> and uh, I I played tennis up through fifth grade and then once I got to fifth grade I became more interested in other sports so I I decided to quit tennis. I didn't play tennis from fifth to ninth grade, but in ninth grade I decided to play for my high school team. So it, it was like riding a bike because I just, I played for a couple weeks and I was right back in the groove of playing tennis, even though I'd taken four years off. Uh, my motivation is that I, I, uh, I played basketball here at Barron last year and I, I quit this year because I didn't want to do any, too much of, it's too much of a pain. So I didn't want to completely retire from my athletic career totally, so I decided I'd try out for the tennis team basically to keep myself busy so I really wouldn't turn into a bum. He came in late in the fall season. Um, I was surprised at his ability level, and uh, I know he, has some, he had some previous tennis experience, so he really was uh, a good surprise. Um, I mean, we just do some basic stretching nothing too fancy and then we just start hitting down the line for for a couple minutes and we get cross court for a couple minutes and then we'll come to the net take a couple volleys and overheads and then serve and then basically everyone's warmed up doesn't take much any transition from high school to college sports is a, is shocking because every college sport is just so much, the pace is just so much faster the first day of practice at tennis i was like blown away by how hard everyone was hitting it took me a while to get used to the pace of the game and constantly have to move back and forth because in high school sports you basically just stand there and hit the ball. People are just lobbing the ball back to you. I like singles much better because it's you versus your opponent. You don't have to rely on anybody else. I don't like relying on other people to hit shots. He uh, gets along good with all the other guys and I think you know they respect him at the fact that he's played some other sports and um, you know just just he speaks about things that you know they can relate to and he's uh he's done a great job and it, it, he's he's just one of those guys that's easy to coach and you, you just put him out there you don't have to worry about too much mason was shocked that he won athlete of the week he didn't know what to think about it everyone else knew before he did all of a sudden i just get like three texts out there like oh you're the tennis star now and i was like what the heck's going on here and they, they said well you got athlete of the week so I went down and looked at our newspaper and I guess I got an athlete of the week. I didn't really understand why I got it that week, but much must not have been any other sports going on at that time or something. I was at practice one day and we were doing just simple like stop and go drills. I went to stop to plant my foot and cut back the other way and my ankle just rolled over. I mean, it's always painful. I've rolled my ankle several times. Tennis is definitely the most mental, it requires the most mental strength. I mean, I know a lot of kids that are probably better than me at tennis, but they just don't have the mental like will to stay in the match and keep playing. So I wind up beating them just because I just won't give up and they will. Other sports, you have teammates that you can rely on, but in tennis, it's just you. I'm definitely an aggressive player. I, I tend to always try and go for every winner. I try to get like the ESPN top 10 shot down the line. And I should just hit a nice, easy shot cross court. On the road to the AMCC tournament, the Lions went up against Teal College. A little tough. 
but we were able to pull it out. We got off to a hot start, then we kind of slowed down towards the end, but we were able to pull out the victory. And then in singles, I just served better than I've ever served in my life, and I was able to beat the kid pretty easily, I think just because I've never served that well in my whole life. Um, I and, my, and the rest of my teammates all expect us to make the NCAA tournament this year. Uh, we feel like we're the best team in our, in our conference. All I need is the chance to play these players. I, I, I never get a chance to play the best players because I play the five spot on our team, but I want a chance to play against the best players in the tournament. I go into everything thinking that I'm going to win this, and I really think that I, I could win the tournament. Converting from basketball last year, he started off singles play with a 1-5 record. It was only then he found his stride to win nine straight matches and finishing off the impressive streak with an AMCC championship and five-man singles action. He is 10-5 so far in singles play as he heads to North Carolina for the Division III National Championship along with his team who also won the AMCC Conference Championship.